good about it. When I got the call, um, you know, Adam Parsons, the manager, called me and says, Marco, we're thinking about doing uh, revisiting the music of Thin Lizzy. We want to do it right, and we would love for you to be part of it. How do you feel about it? And uh, I've always been a fan of Thin Lizzy and Phil Lina and the boys. And so for me, when I get a call like that, I'm there because it's about the music, man. The reality is, unfortunately, Phil Linnett is no longer with us. That's it, you know. And then there's theories that people are doing it for the money, and this. the bottom line for me, I don't... If I was doing music for the money, I would have quit a long, long, long time ago. It's been good. I've had some good runs, but I, I just love what music does for, for the people, for the audience, for the countries, and for the world. I really believe in the power of music, man. Totally committed to that. Totally <coughs> believe in that a positive message is what we need today. And I think Thin Lizzy's music is perfect. It just celebrates life in, in, in every facet, you know. So I was there, man. And I got to tell you, we, got a, we, we all met in London. And uh, it was great. All the boys are great. Vivian, awesome cat. Ricky, unbelievable. Yes, really cool, and it was great to see Scott and Brian. I hadn't seen Brian Downey in a long time, and Darren Wharton. So for us, it was, I had a blast. We did a great photo shoot. We shot some video. VH1 Classic Rock came down, and uh, like that, you know. So I'm excited. We're hoping that the fans out there get excited. And I think so far, the reception has been like, wow, like people are ready for it.